So another example of using determinants to find a cross product, um, slightly different. This one says a second part, hence find a unit vector that is perpendicular to both A and B. So let's start by finding our cross product. Okay, remembering those numbers in that determinant are just coming from our vectors. Okay, finding the determinant, so split them. Remember your minus. Determinant, three times two is six. Take negative 24 becomes plus 24. Three twos is six. Take eight. Negative nine minus three. So 30 I. Six take eight is negative two. And minus minus two is plus two. Minus 12 K. Now, we want the unit vector that is perpendicular to those A and B. So A cross B finds a vector perpendicular to A cross B. We need to find the unit vector. Okay. So this here is a vector perpendicular to A and B. But we want the unit vector. So the unit vector is magnitude 1. So I need to divide this vector by its magnitude to give it a magnitude of 1. So we need to find its magnitude. So that's going to be 30 squared plus 2 squared plus negative 12 all squared, which is 1048. Simplifying, oops, actually I can. Square root of 4 times square root of 262. So that's 2 root 262. So therefore my unit vector perpendicular to A and B will equal 1 over 2 square root of 262 times by that vector. So multiplying by 1 over the magnitude of the vector makes it a magnitude of 1. 